The Coral Triangle is the world's centre of marine life. Due to its species richness, it is also known as the Nursery of the Seas. The Coral Triangle is home to 75% of all coral species on the planet. More than 3,000 species of fish, six of the world's seven species of marine turtles, and many of its marine mammals, including whales and dolphins. The Coral Triangle covers all or part of the seas of six countries in the Indo-Pacific region. As the centre of marine life, it also directly supports more than 120 million people living in the region who depend upon its resources. The underwater world of the Coral Triangle is under threat. One of the major threats is coming from the live reef fish trade, where the use of cyanide to catch reef fish is prevalent. Cyanide fishing targets and stuns the larger market-sized reef fish as they swim around coral reefs. These fish are sedated by small quantities of cyanide poison. They are then moved to sea or land-based holding pens, where they recover and await shipment, either by air or boat to restaurants, mainly in Hong Kong and China, but also to Malaysia and Singapore. Fishermen look for their prey in coral reefs, where the reef fish hide and immobilize them with cyanide solution. The poison is disastrous for fragile coral reefs. Smaller species of fish fall victim to the cyanide too. The fisher break off large pieces of coral to harvest the reef fish. Furthermore, fishers are not only catching too many reef fish, they are removing undersized and juvenile fish from seas before they have had an opportunity to reproduce. They are also targeting endangered and threatened species like the iconic harmhead wrasse as well as large school of fish that regularly come together to reproduce, known as spawning aggregations. These reef fish being caught are transported alive as the preference is for this luxury fish commodity to be served on the plate fresh from tanks in restaurants. Our goal is to make the trade a more responsible one and to expand the supply of live reef fish coming from sustainable sources. And this includes mariculture. These are fingerlings bred in captivity from brood stock, which are used to be grown out in cages, as opposed to relying on fingerlings and undersized fish caught in the wild. The total Asia-Pacific regional trade in live reef fish has been estimated at more than 30,000 tonnes per year, with an estimated value in excess of 800 million US dollars. In some areas, the actual take of live reef fish is more than twice that which scientists say the reefs can sustain. Fish for the trade are sourced from over 20 countries, although more than 75% of the trade comes from countries within or adjacent to the Coral Triangle. Most of the fish are destined for Hong Kong and China. The demand for live fish is growing. Live reef fish is an expensive delicacy. High-value fish like humphead rats command upwards of 140 US dollars per kilo. Our main objective is to establish a regional trade organisation. Now, this trade organisation will comprise members of industry, governments, the scientific community, and other NGOs who will work collectively together to change the behaviour of fishermen and have them adopt better practices and to improve the management of their fishery. This initiative is working closely with WWF officers in the main consumer centres in the region, including Singapore and Hong Kong. And how we're doing this is through the development and distribution of seafood cards directly to restaurants, to businesses and to consumers themselves, encouraging them to act more responsibly in the choice of fish when they enter these restaurants.